Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Renee Boxing on the platform. We simply discuss, critique, analyze, simply talk about sport of boxing in a level-headed, coherent, mature fashion, and more. Hey, I got to talk about this, man. BKFC, my post-fight reaction, you know, concerning the fight uh, between uh, Lorenzo Hunt and Lombard, Hector Lombard, okay? I mean, it was a great fight, man. And I got to just lay a foundation here, man. It was it was a really good fight. Um, some time ago... You know, just to start, real quick, man, subscribers since day one, uh, recent subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, man, for tuning in, you know what I'm saying, to the Flash Lives, the previously scheduled live sessions, you know, the, the premieres of my videos, commenting in the comment sections of videos, tuning in in real time in the premieres, you know, playback family, salute, kings and queens. I appreciate you all. Y'all are awesome, you know what I'm saying? Now, the support we're getting here uh, at Renee Box Young, you know, and I say we because we are all, you know, we're supporting one another, and it's fun. It's just fun, man. I have a blast. Man, let me let me say this. Um, you know, on Renee Box Young Man on this channel, I I primarily speak the sport of boxing. But those who have been following me for a minute, I also talk about a little bit of BKFC, a lot less UFC. You know, some some fighters catch my attention there. Um, but BKFC, th this guy uh, Lorenzo Hunt, man, a cruiserweight. Okay, um, I, I I talked about him months ago, months ago, ladies and gentlemen, because I have pushed some content BKFC. BKFC, 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 uh, tongue twister, <laughs> uh, KFC, chicken, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I've covered content, you know, since a while ago, maybe a couple years ago, you know, and I talked about how my first video on BKFC, combat sport in the USA, how it, uh, you know, birthed a few years ago uh, via David Feldman, former uh, pro fighter, okay, a pro boxer, has a little, you know, boxing career, um, that guy, you know, I talked about it, ladies and gentlemen. I said since since I posted that first video on BKFC, that this this sport's gonna it's gonna catapult, ladies and gentlemen. And to this day, we're at BKFC 22. It just you know just happened, just popped. Um, man, ladies and gentlemen, this fight, this event, generally speaking, the prelims. Um, there was one fight in particular that caught my attention in the prelims. Uh, yeah, it was Tyler Randall, if I'm not mistaken, versus some dude named Bonilla. Last name Bonilla. I forgot his first name, all due respect. Uh, sorry about that, but I forgot his first name. But Bonilla versus Tyler Randall. Ladies and gentlemen, just, 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 you know, there are so many things to say, but one of the things I can say is this. I, I want to point out before I get to, you know, the, the, the Lorenzo Hunt and, uh, Lombard fight. Wow. Uh, and I, and I got to repeat this and reiterate that, that months ago I talked about Lorenzo Hunt. That he was coming. That he, he's going to bring it. He, he, he's skilled, ladies and gentlemen. He's a champ now in BKFC. You know, cruiserweight division. Champ. Salute, champ. Hunt. Wonderful performance. But let me get back real quick to the prelims. And just to, you know, lay a foundation here what I'm saying here. And just to give my, you know, so you un understand my approach on my perspective of BKFC. BKFC has received quite a bit of, you know, criticism from, you know, different, you know, fight fans out there. <clears throat> fight community who just love, you know, combat sports, right? Um, talking about, you know, BKFC guys are just, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of, you know, they're, they're, they're trailer drivers and, you know, this and that. I, you know, from boxing to, you know, UFC, MMA, BKFC, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I've said it time, time again, we don't want to talk about certain things. When I talk about fight fighters in general, you know, in certain live sessions, things, things of that nature, I respect all these guys and, and queens, warriors, who get in the ring, man, in the squared circle, you know, octagon, whatever, to to, to, to fight pro. I mean, you, I just can't say anything against that. I cannot, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not one of those people, you know, to call these guys bombs and, you know, you know, trailer guys, drivers, and, you know, truck drivers. No way, ladies and gentlemen. No way, because these guys, this is a dangerous sport. BKFC, ladies and gentlemen, no gloves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, th quick example. I mean... Just, just popped in my head. Uh, recently, I don't remember his name, but BKFC fighter, he got knocked out. Boom, got punched. Went down. The way he fell, ladies and gentlemen. Ch check this out, man. The way he fell, okay? His head, you know, hit the floor, hit the canvas, and he cracked his spine, and he died, ladies and gentlemen. This is not, this is no games. This is not, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, you know how we say it. They don't, they don't play boxing. You don't play bare knuckle fighting either. You know, you don't play that. You don't play, you know, MMA. You don't play that stuff. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, you know, and why am I saying this? Because BKFC has received, you know, in its in its birth, when it started, a lot of criticism. Look at all these old guys and this and that. And 
I, I respect skill when I see it, ladies and gentlemen. I've said it from since day one, since my first video of BKFC. And I keep saying it. And check this out. Speaking of the prelims, okay? Now, there was one fight that really caught my attention. I repeat, uh, Tyler Randall uh, versus Bonilla. And I want to intertwine this with this, with Lorenzo Hunt also. And just fighters that we're seeing BKFC. As time goes by, I've said this before also in one of my videos I pushed on BKFC. As time goes by, ladies and gentlemen. As it progresses and as BKFC grows more, their skills are going to grow and enhance more. Um, I suggest, you know, all you who probably don't know much about BKFC, check it out. Check it out. There are some fighters there who are really skilled, ladies and gentlemen. There are some queens, warriors, men, kings, you know, who are really skilled in BKFC. I'm not saying all of them are as skilled, but, but there are some. Lorenzo Hunt is one of them, ladies and gentlemen. Lorenzo Hunt. This champ right here, he's one of them, okay? Uh, you got Arnold Adams also uh, in the heavyweight division. Um, you know, Shoemaker, you know. I mean, there, there are names. The list goes on and on, ladies and gentlemen, you know, in, in the heavyweights. Um, recently, uh, Shoemaker, as a matter of fact, got knocked out uh, by Burns. Uh, I pushed a video months ago about that one, if I remember correctly, in the, in the announcement of that fight. Uh, yeah, Burns knocked out Shoemaker. I thought Shoemaker was gonna really, you know, box. He, you know, he's 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 a highly, highly skilled fighter too. You know, he boxes. You know, uh, Lorenzo Hutt does the same. Tyler Randall does the same, ladies and gentlemen. And this is why I love, you know, uh, what what I like about BKFC is that it brings. And I've said it before when I push BKFC content. Got to reiterate that it brings a a, a a nice touch of you know the the the, the sweet crap, the sweet science you know, of the sport of boxing in the BK, in BKFC, you know, in that squared circle. Um, you know, it's slightly different, obviously. They don't have gloves. There are different rules when it comes to clinching. You can still punch in the clinch. Um, but, you know, there are some rules and, and variations and to the styles also. You know, they don't have the weight of the glove, you know. They, they, you know, so, so I mean, they block with their hands. I mean, you know, Lorenzo Hunt has great skills, you know, on, on the inside and defense. He's growing. Definitely a lot of progress. I mean, let me get back to it. I know there's several things I'm talking about, like, you know, at the same time simultaneously. But it's just, you know, I just want to, you know, uh, uh, bring my point across concerning this. You know, that BKFC 22, we're in BKFC 22. It just passed. Ladies and gentlemen, this sport is catapulting. And I said it before, first video on BKFC I pushed on this, on this channel. It's going to keep growing, ladies and gentlemen. Because, and, and we're seeing as it grows, I repeat, growth in skills. Fighters maturing, you know, in their craft. I mean, it's just wonderful. Tyler Randall, day, uh, yeah, this, this was, a, if I'm not mistaken, it was his debut fight in BKFC. First fight, ladies and gentlemen, against Bonilla. This guy got some skills. Light on his feet. Light on his feet, ladies and gentlemen. You know, defensive skills, speed, the jab. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, fundamental boxing uh, elements and tools he brought in this uh, squared circle. And he boxed out Bonilla. Oh, my word, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the thing here is that Bonilla, um, I'm talking about the prelim, a prelim fight that caught my attention. Um, you know, a few fights there. But, um, you know, Bonilla, he scored a knockdown. I think it was in round three. I don't remember. I just don't remember which round it was. It was It was just a surprise shot out of nowhere. Bam, a counter on the inside. I think it was an overhand right counter. Uh, while Tyler was putting in that work, you know, uh, he, he got caught open, bam, um, and he went down, flash knockdown, wasn't hurt at all, wasn't dazed, not stunned, but, you know, every other round, late, and, and in, that, in that round two, in that round two, Tyler was just boxing out Bonilla uh, at the end of the fight, man, not a scratch, and to, and to come out of a fight, listen, ladies and gentlemen, to come out of a fight, five rounds in BKFC, two-minute rounds, you know, um, to come out of one fight, unscathed you, that 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 says a lot that says a lot ladies and gentlemen one punch opens your face up it opens your face up man this is a dangerous sport it's bare knuckle ladies and gentlemen tyler randall he came out of that fight not a scratch on his face bonilla eye his i think it was his left eye shut i mean cut up all over oh my gosh it looked bad Hey, shouts out to Bonilla. You know, learn, learn. Uh, go back to the drawing board and get back to you know, get back to your to your to to to, to training and do what you do, Bonilla. Shouts out to you, Warriors. These guys are warriors in here, you know. And then you go to the main event, man, which was which was Lorenzo Hunt. Oh man, there were just so many fights I didn't cover. I didn't see them all, you know. I'm ever all these other fights, man. It's like the UFC. It's becoming like the UFC with all these fights, man. UFC has approximately what? 
you know, uh, every time you see on Twitter there or whatever, right? I, I, you know, I got my Twitter feed, um, my Twitter handle, whatever. I got my profile. I, you know, I constantly check feeds there, and um, you know, constantly I, I follow UFC, and I constantly, see, I constantly every week, every single week, practically, you know, what I'm saying, you see, or whenever they have their events, the UFC, you know, you see Dana White. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? You know, <laughs> and he talks about the fights, man. Um, you got like 13, 15 fights in an event. That's just amazing. Shouts out to UFC. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you know, but why I'm saying this is that that you got, you know, Knuckle Mania with BKFC. Um, and, and it's a new sport. And look how much it's growing, ladies and gentlemen. Venues, new venues are opening, opening up. David Fellman talked about that some time ago that, you know, just new venues constantly. It's growing, you know, bigger venues. Um, and look at and just look at the look at the roster. You know, when I first pushed my uh, big KFC video, uh, my first video, and gave and showed you, you know, just broken it, broke down the sport, the the minute of rounds, certain rules, things of that nature, the, the squared circle, um, you know, the website, uh, the website had, you know, they're they're even progressing on their website now. They got the divisions, they're growing in the divisions now. Tyler Randall, I think he fought at 130 against Bonilla. I don't think they have that division as of yet on the website. So, but it's cool now because if you go to BKFC, we're gonna check that out in a moment. Uh, check, you know, link in the description so we can check out Lorenzo Hunt. Uh, they're they're really growing on their platform. They're really growing on you know their divisions, on categorizing their fighters now because before. It was more rudimentary, I guess we can say. Um, you know, all the fighters were on one page, and there, there were you couldn't just you couldn't distinguish who was in what division. And there was a lot of fighters. There's a lot of fighters. The, the, the roster's growing. The cards, BKFC 22, lots of fights on that thing, man. You know, Knuckle Mania. I did a uh, if, I, for my, if I remember correctly, I did a post fight reaction. Uh, uh, Knuckle Mania. I don't remember when it was, but I, it's on it's on my channel. But you know, just a whole bunch of fighters. So. You know, as Big KFC grows, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see more skilled fighters, you know, and we're going to see this. It's just amazing. Lorenzo Hunt is one of them. Lorenzo Hunt, you know, uh, and let, let's get to this real fast. I want to show you this. Let's get here. You can see it here on a BKFC, um, you know, on their website there. Uh, let me just kind of, you know, move it around just a little bit. Bareknuckle.tv. Uh, okay, so you can just see the layout. They made it. They got the graphics up there, you know, the banner. Uh, Lorenzo Hunt is 6-1, and one, you know, cruiserweight division. You can see there. And this is awesome because now they're actually – this is a big difference. This is a big difference, uh, you know, in this uh, as opposed to the last – you know, the first um, – presentation of their website now they got you know the fighters the categories their their records their weight blah 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 so i mean you got cruiserweight you got the cruiserweight champ and new ladies and gentlemen beautiful stuff let me just go ahead and uh let me scroll it for you okay so you got the and new yeah so i want to focus mainly on uh you know lorenzo hunt's performance against lombard uh lombard he fought against mundell some time ago uh he fought against Riggs, if i'm not mistaken uh i sometimes forget the names but you know Lom hector lombard man um his trajectory in bkfc had surprised me let me just put it that way uh just to give you an idea and foundation of hector lombard before we get to lorenzo hunt man i pushed a video on lorenzo hunt on lorenzo hunt some time ago like i said months ago I said, watch out for this guy. I explained. I talked about his skill set. We're going to get to that in a moment. Okay, so, but Hector Lombard, when he fought against Mundell, I think if I remember correctly, Mundell was his first fight in BKFC I, or his second. I just don't remember very clearly. But, you know, Mundell, M Mundell was uh, more of a – he's a, also a boxer, more of a boxer. You know, light on his feet as well. Used the jab nicely. Used the, the, the squirt circle very well. You know, his defense is okay. Um, and I personally, on the lead-up to the Mundell and Hector Lombard fight – Hector Lombard, I thought Mundell was going to box out Lombard. But on the contrary, man, uh, you know, Lombard's output, you know, he got the win. He got the win. I think it was, uh, I don't think it was by knockout. It was by UD, unanimous decision. Um, and, you know, he put, his output was more, uh, just outworked, outworked L Mundell. Why am I saying this? Because as of then, Lombard surprised me. I didn't think he was going to, you know, win against Mundell. And, you know, he has had... A great trajectory so far, man. Hector Lombard and BKFC. Salute to Lombard. And the lead up to this, uh, you know, Lorenzo Hunt and Lombard fight. Ha! <laughs> bad blood, ladies and gentlemen. You talk about, you know, like Caleb Plant, Canelo bad blood. And BKFC, you see it a lot too. You see it a lot more maybe. Yeah, man. Lorenzo Hunt and Lombard, man. These guys were going back and forth in the face-off. Uh, you know, on the final face-off, uh, weigh-in. Uh, I think Lombard, man, threw a, threw a punch, you know, to... to, to to Hunt's chest, man. Hunt wasn't phased at all, man. There, you know, these guys, 
you know, and in another press conference, uh, <laughs> another press conference there in the lead up to the fight, uh, you know, Lorenzo Hunt got the, went up to, to the, to the desk or whatever, right, uh, to the stage and just took the belt and smashed it in the, on, on the freaking stage, that's, that's, you know, these guys had bad blood, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm trying to say here. Loren you know, Lorenzo Hunt and uh, uh, Hector Labard, man, they had some bad blood in the lead-up to the fight. During the fight, man, um, you know, now, now, Hector Lombard, man, flat-footed fighter. He's a flat-footed fighter, you know, stocky, short, tough guy, man. I mean, he's just built, you know, throws a punch. He's fast, too. For his size, man, and, uh, you know, being flat-footed like that, you know, he doesn't really use his feet for, you know, not much footwork. He's fast, man. Those punches he throws are fast and super powerful, okay? You better watch the heck out. And that's, you know, I mean, that's just, that's why I thought personally Mundell, going back to the Mundell fight, I thought Hector Lombard wouldn't, 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 wasn't going to win because, you know, flat-footed, you know, generally speaking, the boxers, the high IQ fighters, they, 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 generally speaking, not all the time, obviously, right, um, you know, they typically have the, the edge over, over those flat-footed, uh, you know, power puncher guys, and that's kind of Hector Lombard, you know, the jab, he needs to use a little bit more, and, you know, uh, so, so that's how it was in this fight with, uh, you know, against Hunt, Hunt, man, you know, oh my gosh, dude, you know, Hunt, where should I start with Hunt, he, orthodox fighter, switches the southpaw beautifully, naturally in the ring, footwork is, you know, great, his defense on the inside, you know, using his hands, pot, 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 you know, you, you, and he counters you on the inside, I mean, they, he brought it all, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Hunt brought it, the, the, the only deficiency I saw in this fight, man, with Hunt uh, versus Lombard, you know, is around round three, maybe four, you can see Hunt was starting to, 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 to get tired, man, you know, obviously, because it's a lot of work in there, ladies and gentlemen, it's just action-packed, and look at the size of the squared circle, now, that's just another point, I talked about in my first video on BKFC, you know, the squared circle, it's small, it serves for action, it serves for just action mostly in the fight, that's why, you know, I assume it's two minutes, you know, two minute rounds, because, you're getting non-stop action, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of like woman boxing, you know, woman boxing, man, you know, pro boxing. It's non-stop action there because, you know, they, they just have a different inclination in, in, in fights. Their, 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 their drive is different, you know. Female boxing, ladies and gentlemen, uh, pro boxing, their drive is different. They just want to go in there and slug it out, you know, and they just go in and fight, you know what I mean? And with Big KFC, it reminds me of that. Two-minute rounds, you you, you you get a lot of action in there. And, you know, Lorenzo Hunt, man, um, he did nice on the inside. Defense on the inside was nice. He opened up uh, uh, Hector Lombard. I think it was his right eye around here. Got a nice cut there early in the fight. Um, and But that's the only thing I take from it. Hunt got kind of tired approximately halfway through the fight because of all the action that these guys put in there. You know, they get tired, you know what I'm saying? They really get tired. Five-minute rounds. They went all five rounds. Now, this is the thing, man. Um, which round was it? I think it was round one or early in the fight. We'll just say it like that. Hunt Hunt knocked down. He knocked down Lombard. The ref, Mugliata. Mugliata. I'm horrible with names, but, uh, you know, a veteran ref. Um, he didn't call it a knockdown. That, I don't know why. He should have. He definitely should have called that a knockdown. It was so clear. You know, they were having an ex exchange on the inside. Uh, Hunt throws a right hand right, I think it was around uh, the forehead of Lombard. Bam! S clean shot. And, you know, Lombard goes down. It was a very clear knockdown. I don't know what, you know, Mugliata, uh, pardon my pronunciation, but pronouncing wrong, I'm horrible with names. Uh, I don't know why the coach didn't. Call it a knockdown. That was weird. Because he's a vet coach, man. He's a vet. And I, sh I know sometimes it slips them, but, you know, I don't know, man. And at the end of the fight, Hunt, uh, you know, while the uh, they were going to read the scorecards or whatever, um, Hunt Hunt was telling the ref, hey, man, that was a knockdown. That was a knockdown. How did you not catch it? And I think the ref answered and said something like, you know, that they saw it on slow-mo or something like that. I don't remember, but, you know, they saw the replay or something. But... Just a beautiful performance by Hunt. Hunt's the new cruiserweight, you know, BKFC champ, and really much deserved it. I mean, 
cleanly boxed out uh, Lombard. Lombard has still a wonderful career, you know what I'm saying? He definitely has more uh, to give in BKFC, you know. But, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to make this video to get my post-fight reaction and to reiterate what I said months ago. What I said months ago, ladies and gentlemen, you know, and I've talked about Arnold Adams also months and months ago about him. You know, I mentioned him several times uh, when I pushed, you know, some BKFC content, you know, Arnold Adams heavyweight. Now, I, I wasn't clear for the reason I explained earlier that before the BKFC um, website didn't have the divisions. It didn't have it just had the page of fighters. You go to fighters and it had all the all the fighters and mixed up. You know, all the divisions and fighters mixed up in one page, and it didn't say the division or anything. It just gave their name, and that's it. Now, you know, now I can distinguish more. I, 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 I thought that, I thought that Hunt was heavyweight. I thought that's another point I want to talk about. I thought that Hunt was a heavyweight fighter, but no, he's a cruiserweight fighter. However, you know, Arnold Adams, if I'm not mistaken, he's a champ. He beat Beltron. You know, again, that's another video. <laughs> Arnold Adams. Highly skilled defense on oh my gosh that, that guy's amazing wow okay so hunt if he uh, oh my gosh ladies and gentlemen not, this is kind of what I'm thinking what's next for hunt who is he gonna fight next uh, I'm sure obviously he's gonna de defend his um, cruiserweight title I don't know though if he's gonna you know he's 39 if I'm not mistaken years old you can see it there in his profile on BKFC uh, dot TV uh, Bare Knuckle TV um the website link in the description. I don't know if he's going to move up to heavyweight. I'm not so sure. <clears throat> because at this age, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's that's his weight, you know. I, that that's his weight, but who knows? I don't know if he, you know, blows up in uh, 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 between fights. I really don't know too much about that as I do more uh, when it comes to pro boxing and pro boxers. But if he plans, so I'm trying to get at, man. If he plans to move up to heavyweight, um wow. <laughs> wow. If he plans to, I don't know. I don't know his plans, but you know, Hunt man, really skilled, 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 BKFC fighter, ladies and gentlemen. And it was fun. I mean, it. it I didn't see all the fights, like I said. I just caught this and a couple others. Uh, Randall was another one. Uh, you know, on the uh, prelims, but beautiful stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll see what's next, man. But uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you love the sport of boxing. This is a place for you. A little bit of BKFC content, and as time goes by. I'm going to be pushing more of this, okay? So definitely, man, um, you know, some, you know, from time to time I push BKFC content because there are some fighters that are definitely worth talking about. And one of the reasons why I don't talk a little bit more about BKFC is because my time. My time is is really constrained. Uh, I got a lot of things going on in my life. So, you know, I mainly talk about boxing on my platform. But, you know, there are some fighters like this guy right here, this champ that are definitely worth talking about. And the other fighters i talked about before on my channel on BKFC. So definitely, man, if you love the sport of boxing, uh, BKFC, this is a place for you. First time listener, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I do my flash lives, when I push premieres such as this, you know, when I do my previously, previously scheduled lives, you know, playback family, commenting in the comment section, each and every one of you, I appreciate you subscribe since day one. Recent subscribers, you are all awesome. Renee Boxing on the platform, we simply discuss, critique, analyze, simply talk about sport of boxing in a level-headed, mature, coherent fashion, and more, and BKFC. That's what I'm talking about, Renee Boxing. Peace out. Stay safe. Not, 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 not.